In this section of the training, we're going to get into uh, transitioning content from the operational analysis. So now that we're in system analysis, we basically want to start using uh, the content that we had created previously. We want to leverage it in this system analysis phase. Uh, in this phase, we are going to focus right now on this step here of doing the transitioning. And what this means it's a, is, is it actually brings content that was created previously, previously in the operational analysis into the system analysis. This is a really powerful part of uh, the Capella tool because it has this implemented methodology. And because it has an implemented methodology, it can actually do things for you that you typically wouldn't be able to do. And in this case, we're going to be creating what they call realization links that happen. And you can see that in this diagram here that you have this operational analysis and you see that these dotted, these black dotted lines are connected to the next level of system analysis. Well, that's essentially what's going to get created when, it, when you go through this transition process. And in the transition process, you can pro, uh, transition over the operational analysis actors and bring them to system analysis. You can do activities. You can do capabilities. You can even do the operational processes can be brought across. And when you do this operational, this, this transition, uh, it essentially does this. It, it does two things automatically. It creates the object for the next phase from the same name of the object before, and it creates this traceability or real, realization links, realizing links that basically are connecting the two. So graphically, this is kind of what it would look like. You start with a bunch of operational analysis uh, activities, and they end up transitioning into system functions. Now, there's really two different ways that you can do this. You can actually do this by uh, the method itself it has steps in the method that you can look at the uh, activity explorer, and you can basically go and, and take, take uh, uh, the, the steps and just do them. Uh, this approach is really good for new models because you basically want to bring everything across. Uh, the other one is to basically do selective transitions of objects. This approach is really good for changes because you can go in and just change, just transition the objects that you know that have changed. Because sometimes transitioning will pick up on things that you've tweaked in the past. Like you may go in and change something in system functions, and it may want to change it back, even though uh, to a more tra per, per, you know transition state. So this is just change approach is nice for that. So in, in here you can see the steps you know that you'll see in the uh, the activity explorer uh, view. You'll see these all these different steps here are operational uh, our transition steps. Uh, this is more of what it looks like when you want to do the automated uh, the manual approach. Uh, again, this is kind of some of the views that looks like in this uh, you know, the changes to the system using the steps. These are windows are going to pop up and basically show you what changed. Uh, if you're going to do the more manual approach of doing things at a time, you basically are using a, a left mouse button window to basically invoke the transitions. And you can pick actors to do them, and you can pick uh, the processes to do them and do them uh, that way. And, and there's tools to help you with this. Uh, you can actually use see the semantic browser. You'll know when things have been transitioned. You'll see this real, realization object create. It'll say realizing system function, and it'll show that up as a relationship. Uh, you won't see it if it's not there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our example and I'm going to go ahead and do some of this uh, transitioning, some of these changes uh, in the model. So we're going to open up the model we have here. And we'll see that we have the trail power for campgrounds. It's opened up. I'm going to go look at the operational capabilities for it. So I have the operational capabilities noted before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the transition. So I'm going to basically transition the model over. So I'm basically going to do the transition. So here's the transition. So I'm going to create, I can, I have a choice when I do the transition. I can create a system actor of it, or I can say realize by the system. And in this case, I'm going to create a system actor because I want to have this new operator. So I'm going to do that. I noticed that it, it basically said it was what else it was going to send over. So it was actually going to send over uh, anything that's related to that operator. So if I go now and look at the the architecture for the operational activities, you can see here's the activities here. I look at the operator status here, and I try to do that transition again. You can see I have system functions in it. You'll see that they've already done. So it already moved over the system functions and all the ones that were related to it because I did that operation once. Now the other thing I'm going to try to I'm going to do that doesn't usually get picked up 
is I'm going to do the transition of the provide location and provide st status. So I'm going to basically do the transition of those and do a functional transition of those. And you can see here it's actually now going to bring over the capabilities that are associated with it too. So I'm actually going to bring the capabilities over and I'm going to apply and basically do that. Now I will go and ch check to see if the capabilities were brought over. I can do that also separately and do the transition for the capabilities. And you see, yep, the capabilities were already brought over to the model. So now, so basically now I've done the transition and I can go and look at the model here and say, okay, here's my operational analysis model. And these were the, here's some of the new capabilities that I have provide location. You can see the operational activities that were for them. And now I'm going to go and look for those in the system analysis model. And I'll look for those system functions. And you see, yes, the system functions have been brought over. I also can check to see if my actors were brought over. Uh, so I'll go over here and I see, okay, yeah, I have a new actor called operator has been brought over. And if I click on that operator, I can even uh, see the related system functions that are tied to it. So those have been brought over and ready to use. So now all that's left then is to actual, actually go and start creating some diagrams that show these changes after this transitioning is done. So and we'll do that in the next step. Thank you.